You back home, Neck? Riley, there's something here in front of me. It's like the sky is bisected or folded into itself. It's like... it's like a door. Only not your handle and deadbolt variety. It's... this is something else. Some sort of electricity? Or something close to it. So you're saying you didn't make it back home? Over. I didn't. No. I could sail past the door, or whatever this thing is. But it's daylight on the other side. And stars, I think. And some things I couldn't properly describe. You try! It's, it's not quite wide enough for me to slip through. But my god. It really is very beautiful. Hmm. If I could just... Hmm. What is inside there? Bug it, Nick. Here you go. Nick. Odds are you've got some sort of radio equipment on board there beyond what you and I are talking through. Just turn that on and tune. Eventually, you'll see what's on the other side and whether or not you want to step through. Roger that. Riley. Is this... Nick? The light of possibility. Finish Nick's journey. Wow. Ah. Ah, Nick was, you know, Nick lamented about not being able to like go and explore things and discover stuff. So I figured, screw it. We'll give it to him. Locked. Story of my life. Huh, okay. Well, less than ideal. So, uh... Come on, there's a way. There has to be. Or, uh, we'll just keep saying that till we figure out there isn't. Sure. <laughs> chapel! Cute and creepy. Not your usual flavor pairing. All churches, chapels, are creepy to me. I grew up Jewish, so these places always felt not for me. You always give them a certain genesee creep. It happens. No, this one is legit creepy. I don't blame you. Good woodworking, though. I'll give him that. <laughs> yeah, well, let's head down into the mines, Jacob. We could probably try and force things a little bit, but... Uh, considering we're going to go down here as anyways to check out what's going on with this wire, I'll be the better bet. Okay, this is how my mind works. I just remembered something. Knock, knock. Oh? Who's there? Howie. Howie who? How are we gonna hide this dead body? <laughs> yeah, that was uh, beautiful. I know. <laughs> just trying to lighten the... Never mind. What's going on in this? I see benches and some kind of weird flag with a pickaxe. NWMA Garland Chapter. Oh, okay. I think I can guess. National? No, no. Northwestern. Miners. Uh, um, miners because of the flag. And because, you know, Garland. Uh, Alliance? Northwestern Mining Alliance? Maybe. I'm sure I read the name in 8th grade Oregon State History. Lost to me now. <laughs> this hall now stands as a permanent memorial to the 12 brave souls who lost their lives during the collapse of Latimer Mine Shaft A, dedicated by the families of the dead on this day of February 7th, 1892. Oh. Forever in solidarity. Those are <sighs> the gravestones up top. All right, so this isn't the people who burned to death. This is the people who got crushed to death. Northwest Miners Association. Thank you, Mrs. Staley. Uh, you know, I was going to do association first, but I was like, eh, that's too easy. We'll try alliance. Whoops. This is some kind of equipment. I, I can't tell what it's monitoring. Huh. I think I've seen one of these before. Is it uh, on or working? Whatever it is. I don't think so. Nothing's, you know, lit or whirring inside. 
Wonder what that cable is connected to and what it's for. Well, we can give it a quick check. I'm just gonna see what's going on over here. Riley, answer. Come on, manners. What? What? Uh, yes. Maggots and mildew. You notice that's all that stupid town Garland is? No wonder it was abandoned. It deserved it. You're like really negative. Anybody ever tell you that? No, I'm really honest. People like to mix up the two when they don't want to face the truth. I like your vest, by the way. I could never find one I liked. That wasn't like ten thousand dollars. Thrift store, actually. You'd be amazed what you can find in them. <sighs> With all the bed bugs I can eat, I'll bet. Yeah. It's a shame we'll never be friends. Put it in a dryer or something. I mean, aside from the fact that you're like fifty or whatever. They tell me you're dependable, reliable, have a big heart. Whatever that means. They say you're a real peach. We could still be friends, you know. And I'm actually a hundred. I just have good genes. Uh, no, we can't be friends. Not when I'm done here. It's too bad. I can never find anyone who likes vests as much as me. Maybe in the next life, you know? Maybe then all our dreams will come true and look great doing so. Ugh. Maybe. At this point, Olivia, I don't know what's going to end up happening. I, I really don't want you to get your wishes. Um... Oh, wow. Uh, this would be the entrance to the caves and the way up to the ledge, but nope. Caved in. Not going to work. Not like this, at least. Uh, we should find some other way. Let's just keep looking. Worth a shot. You never know, right? Yeah. Hey, maybe there's something here that we can get. Yeah, Liv is really super banking in. Ah, oh, fuck, we're doing portal shit again. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, Liv is really banking on this whole, uh... Ascending with the ghosts and living with her parents. Locked in a moment of time, or maybe going to Planet Shine or whatever shit. Hey. Check it out, another one. Wonder what's inside. Or winds inside. Maybe this can tell us? Another one of these things. No, this one's not on either. Who could have left these here? I don't know. Let's check every side of these cables first. Why are there so many uh, wires, cords, cables, whatever, leading into that building? This isn't open still, right? No, no way. And they look, uh, fresh? Sure, we'll, we'll call them fresh. Either someone was here recently, or someone is here presently. Huh. I wonder why. Yeah, beats me. Let's find Garland out. Garland Post Office, established 1878. Hello? Ooh. Jesus! Whoa. Post office, and you're a human being. Uh, answer this, huh? please. Who's that? How the hell should I know? Hello, and what there? is all this crap? If you're a human being. I'm answer, please. A lot of wires. Uh, uh hi. Y yes, I'm. I'm a human. Yeah, of course you are. At least tell me you didn't break my equipment. Over. I uh, don't think we broke anything. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Name's Hank Chapman. And I just took your picture. Assuming you were facing the camera. Otherwise, it'll be the wall. Well, aren't you the lucky one? I usually charge for headshots. Over. That flash wasn't meant for you. Listen, I'm an amateur hobbyist investigator of the inexplicable. And I don't know if you've noticed, but tonight has been... The professionals would likely call it unusual. Around town, I've set up a series of EMF boosters. Equipment I use to capture, well, let's call it evidence of the unusual. Something's been screwing with them, so I need them checked. One of them is outright not responding. I'm assuming the worst. Can you help me out? Oh, you're fucking kidding me. Sure, you got it. It's a good deed for messing up the picture. Think of it as karma. Now, there's a generator in the post office with you that powers the boosters. Think of the EMF boosters like a safe. You put in the right code, you get to see what's inside. If you spot anything, maybe snap a picture. If you can, I'll make it worth your while. Call if you have any trouble. See you in the obit. Over and out. I think he's talking about this thing, right? It says EMF on the side here. 
You think this could help us? Well, Hank's EMF boosters, or whatever they are, are pretty much the only thing we can try at this point. Maybe they'll affect something? I don't know. Let's just see what they can do for us. Yeah, I mean, I figured... <laughs> I figure we should probably... Figure whatever the fuck this out. This is out before we mess with time itself again. Andrew Rhines, Postmaster, 1878 to 1903. Must have been the first. Huh? Oh, right. First Postmaster for the town. Yeah, that makes sense. Why they'd hang a picture. 1878. Wow. Kind of got some Teddy Roosevelt vibes. He looks more easygoing, though. <laughs> hey, you know, probably in more easygoing times. You can always take this picture, Jacob. Yeah, keep it in a little museum or something. Weird stories. Newspaper clipping. Tragedy. 12 lives claimed in deadly mine shaft collapse. Latimer Mines no longer in operation. Garland mourns its greatest enterprise alongside 12 cherished sons. Ugh. From 1892. I guess that's when things started to go downhill. Yep. Yeah, that makes sense. Usually, something like a mining operation is a pretty big deal hmm, for a small more town. analog than I expected. Pretty basic input. Man, I was wanting... I, I don't know. Something weird. Not like Byzantine, but... I don't know. A little weirder? Call me basic, but I'll take basic. You want a challenge? Learn pig Latin on your own time. Fair enough. Boop! I uh, think that came from outside. Yeah, boy. Hank mentioned grabbing a picture. I've got my camera with me. Let's see if we find anything flashworthy. I mean, we there's gonna be a portal in space time soon. So we got uh, some numbers here, or digits, I guess, on a dial. Just yeah, careful, etc. Okay. I, I don't <laughs> I don't know what this is for. Uh, I mean, this one says three. It starts at three. Moving it did nothing. We'll try the one up here. Unfortunately, Olivia broke one of the other ones, so maybe we'll have to, like, guess or something. Oh, shit. Oh, hey. Maybe we should try going inside the time tear. Just to, you know, uh, see if those boosters did something. Yeah, all right. If Jacob's going to be the first one to suggest going into the time portal, fine. I guess I should have gone to that first. I guess I'm affecting them already. Maybe I can go back and turn them off. I kind of want to see what the on and off was for it. Oh, well. Let's... Here we go. See what's on the other side. Whoa, pretty. Oh my god. 1320? Amazing. Riley, this is amazing. Look, like Mother Earth, man, she is no slouch. Smells a lot better, too. You know what? I'd rather have the town. Small, out of the way places like this always have the best diners. Well, I'm sure once upon a time the waffles were legendary, but I'm not sure it was worth getting rid of all this. Interesting. Okay, so I guess the boosters. Mm, the entrance is or was here, but I guess the mine wasn't open yet. Not very helpful, unless you've got any spare dynamite. Crazier things, right? Oh, sure, in my bag next to my chapstick. Or is that cinnamon gum? Ugh, it might be gum. Okay, so the boosters clearly affect the actual area within the tear itself. Uh, 
we saw that one of them was a three on the second digit and the other one was two. And this is 1320, so <laughs> I guess we just fuck with those two EMFs until we get 1890 before the mine went down. Was there a third one for us to mess with or was it just the start of the signal of the EMF? Yeah, okay, all right, all right. I mean, I kind of want to see what happens as we mess with the time. Like, what happens if we take it for just one year? Well, okay, a hundred years, sorry. One digit on the thing. Hey, things are, uh, different? Wow, okay, th th that, that must be what the boosters do. Yeah, we're, just, we're going through time. I know, the mine's not going to be here for another 400 years. I, I, I kind of want to just keep seeing, like, the different eras. I don't think we need to get any, like, super specific okay. until let's see. Uh, we know they're affecting the time tunnel, right? So, I think it's just a matter of getting the right time that the, uh, the cave's open. The mine, I mean. Yeah, I think we're on the right track, at least. That's let's fun. just keep trying. You can see it changing within here. All right. So in the 1400s, the background kind of changes a little bit. Hold on. What? What? Why is that? Is it just the terrain? Yeah, it's these old little trees. Okay. We should be outside of the tear when I do this. Maria, hey, are you by your desk? Know anything about Garland? Over. Hey. Hi. Yeah, I've been to that garbage dump. Are you there right now? It stinks, right? Kind of smells like a vacuum cleaner that's never been emptied. They taught us in history class why that is, but that was last year, so I don't know anymore. <laughs> I actually have a good story about the town if you want to hear it. It's not that exciting. Oh, sure. I got nothing but time, Maria. Let's hear it. Over. I'm detecting sarcasm, but I'm choosing to ignore it. Okay, so like 60 years ago, maybe more, two teenagers from Kamina High wanted to get married. Their parents were against the whole thing, so they had a little ceremony in the Garland Church. Just by themselves, late at night, in secret. They cut their hands and said some stuff, did as much as they could without a real priest. And the girl. She asked if the boy had some flowers, he said he didn't. He left to get some, and while he was gone, a police cruiser accidentally ran over him in the dark. No. I'm butchering this story, but it was so late the poor cop didn't see him. Killed him instantly. The police covered it up, saying he fell into the gorge. But now, late at night, around the old church, you can sometimes see a young man out there, dressed in a cheap suit, picking dead flowers for his blushing new bride. Creepy. Right? I don't know if I 100% believe it, but... Oh, that's a good one. I'll let you know if I see him. Over. Yeah, I thought you'd like it. Oh, teacher's coming! Gotta go. Bye. <laughs> Why is she getting so harassed by the teachers and the principal at fucking, like, 2, 3 a.m. in the morning? All right, I kind of want to... <laughs> So, you know, we know we were, we're aiming for the 1890s. But what if we go into, like, 1990? I'm gonna jump back, like, 10, 20 years. <laughs> you can see it go from like this to like decrepit door. So in the 1700s, this place still hadn't been settled. Wow, 1790. Alright, I 
want to check out 1990. Just like the, the whole period of the 1900s. The 20th century. The differences are pretty subtle, but yeah, we must be close to our own time. This place looks just as abandoned. Maybe the mine's open. Let's check it out. Yeah, maybe it's not all caved in. Huh? 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 Hmm. Looks about the same. Yeah, makes sense. The the cave in that killed all those miners must be the exact same one that closed off that cave entrance in the first place, which is why I was like, yeah, we're probably aiming for the 90, or 1892, but we can't do the last one. The game just keeps hovering over the mine, being like, hey, you wanna wanna do something about this mine here? Interesting. So if we go in, uh, aim for 1900 to 19, you know, like 1910s, the place still looks, you know, it's not starting to get decrepit. The door isn't decaying. My God. Take a good long look. I know we got a job to do, but like, this is unbelievable. Wow, like a postcard. Garland in its prime. Wasn't too shabby when she had, uh, townsfolk, huh? Ugh, makes the abandonment all the more tragic. Yeah, it feels strange to see it up and running. Or running, in quotes. Let's look around. Well, we know the mines. Not gonna be. It must have been right after the collapse. Still impassable. Yeah. That's not gonna help us. But it wasn't always like this, right? No. It was a mine at one point, and we know that. I'm just digging around. <laughs> I just want to see how much we can dig around with time. All right, we're gonna aim for. We're gonna do one more, like a little experiment. 1950s. Actually, eh, maybe two more. 1950s? Wait, if the mine caved in just before the turn of the 20th century, that means it was only open for what? Couldn't have been more than a couple decades. Not, uh, not a very long time. I mean, to be fair, for a mine, 20 years is probably a long time. The amount of, like, mines in the real world that have, like, shut down. Okay, so if we, okay, 1940. In the middle of the Great War. Two. In World War Two. Uh, Nineteen forty. So close to being near. The time of the ghosts, but all right, let's one more real experiment. We're going to go to the 70s, or maybe the 60s, In the 1860s, my bad. Man, it's going to be annoying in 20 years and we're like, oh, yeah, the 40s. When World War II happened, it's gonna be like, no, we mean what we mean 2040s when World War III happened, you know. <laughs> Eighteen sixty. Uh... Is the mine up in 1860? Nope. Wow. I wasn't expecting there to be these buildings here and then not have a mine. But all right. We're aiming for 1890. We're just gonna go smack dab right to two years before the collapse.
bloop, bloop, bloop. I'm sad we didn't get to, like, fuck with time a little bit more. Like, we didn't get to see any people or any, any like, a live person just kind of casually wandering around the store and then they see us come out of a portal. And no one believes their little story. Alright, let's go mine it. We also didn't take any pictures for... for Hank. Hey! Oh, awesome. It's... it's open, see? Oh, thank God. I can't believe that worked. It's rare I get to feel this smart. Yes, accomplishment is a nice feeling. Let's head up top. Shouldn't take long. Yeah, unless the portals close behind us and then we're stuck underneath all of the rubble! 200 years! Well, okay. A hundred... plus years! <sighs> oh, boy. Exiting the portal already, huh? Fine. I guess this is safe enough. Uh... Uh, Hank wants us to use his booster to, uh, booster thing to take a picture of something. Maybe something living? I don't know if I... Shit. So this is a random question, but what made you move away? From uh, Kamina, I mean. After high school. Um, my dad. Our relationship seemed beyond repair, and so I wanted to make a clean break of it. Yeah. <laughs> well, everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to die. I don't know why I keep thinking about that. Maybe because, as a kid, I wanted to be treated like an adult, but without growing up. I'm sure most kids feel like that. I want to stay up all night and do whatever I want, but I don't want any bills to pay. Uh, I always felt older. So when I hit my 30s, I felt like that existential exhaustion finally caught up with my body. <laughs> There's just something about Garland. How the town just couldn't keep up with history. It must make me babble about all this stuff because I never left Kamina. And sometimes I wonder if I should have. My life would be really different. I wouldn't be here, for one thing. Which has its pluses and minuses. Eh, don't worry about it. Life goes and goes and the only thing you can do is hold on to something. You make it sound... I don't know. Changes him mind. I'm sorry, buddy. There weren't really... None of the options sounded that good. That expression. But nobody wants to die. It says nobody wants to do the work. To find enlightenment. Well, enlightenment's hard goddamn work, okay? No shame in sticking to what you know. Hey, to be fair... I'm sorry. I think I just missed my talk. She was the one who usually had to suffer through these, uh... Yeah, you know, Jake tutorials. Never realized just how stupid they sound when you're talking to someone without a tail. <laughs> sorry. Oh, sorry. Hey, I might have a vestigial one, you know. Don't assume, buddy. Yeah, sure. Just, I want to say thanks. Thanks for letting me help tonight. This feels like the most worthwhile thing I've done in a very long time. That's all. You kidding me? Thank you. You've been a big help already, just being here. I appreciate it. All right, that's enough of that. We're late for church, come on. Yeah, we can head on out of here. I lost my train of thought, so <laughs> we're just moving it on. I was gonna say something. All right, ghosts, please, whoa, Jesus, fuck. I thought I was gonna come from the right side. All right, ghosts, don't try and take me out or anything while I'm climbing around here. That would be incredibly mean. I guess what I could do is find... For Hank, that is. He might want me to take a picture of something alive within the, ta the portal. Seems like the only thing to really interact with, right? With the boosters. Oh, hey, I think... I think this is it. Great view, right? Oh, this Bad is where we're... city. Great view. 
we're putting the transmitter? Mm, you should work for the tourism board. Clearly you have a gift for slogans. That'll be my backup plan. You know what? The top of the chapel's the better bet. Higher, less obstructed. Let's do it. Huh? You were right earlier. I just didn't see it. Someday maybe you'll forgive me. Come on, climb time. No! That sounds like a bad idea. What if the chapel fucking roof falls in? Seems like a great way to fuck this whole thing up. But all right, Jacob, sure, we can climb the rickety 100 plus year old church roof. Oh, we re we're really going up there, all right. Evelyn, come in, Evelyn. Just please, over. Maria, can you hear me? I could really use some help. Over. ID one. Uh, ID two. Who? Guess we're not getting any uh, Whoa, any extra advice. If I tried that, my spine would fall out of my body. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure I'll feel it tomorrow when I can't get out of bed. At least then we can stay in bed longer. Oh, uh, sorry. Do, do you smell that? Uh... Can't say that I do? I didn't smell it before, but that's rot. That's... Whew, oh, that's bad wood rot. Yeah, hurry up and stick the transmitter, uh, so we... Ah! Jacob! <gasps> Jacob! God. Yeah, yeah, sure, fuck it, leave the transmitter up here. God damn it, Jacob. Jacob, can you can you hear me? Fuck. All right, we're going to go down there. At least we have a quick way back up. Ha. Ah. I wish I would have been I I was down to just tell him no. We shouldn't have that. <laughs> Jacob? Jacob? Please say something. Make a noise. This is a big fucking fault, Jacob, if you're alive. I don't know if you'll be able to walk. Oh, I don't like this zooming out. I feel like there's significantly more to one, this rope, and also this church. Jesus, how tall is this place? Any ghosts trying to fuck with me in here? Well, we got regular connections. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. Yeah. It's just the church. With one couple, oh, no, couple candles lit. Olivia? Jacob? Where are you? All right, I'm taking this candle. Yeah, nothing will go wrong if I light up all of the candles in this creepy fucking time warp church. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, you can, you can just stop. Okay, this is, you know, superfluous. Uh, what? There's an order I need to light the candles. You. F you bastard ghosts. Ugh. And here we go, yet again. Alright, fine. I'll try the bottom left. Alright. And then left. To bottom right. Gotcha. I'm looking at the church symbol at the top, where things are connected diagonally. Perfect. Huh. Oh, ah! kill. 
Green girl. No, don't, 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 don't hurt us. No. Lie. Out. Out. Door. Impossible. So. Time. What? What is this? What? What are you trying to do, Alex? Scare me? I, I, I don't. Alex. Alex. Girl. Lost. Beach. Scare. Not dead. Boys. Ten. Green girl. Okay. Oh. Olivia? Green girl? Oh. 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 Hey, stop dropping Jacob over and over again. Jacob! No! Alex, stop already! What is this proving? Door. Door. Open. Door. Black. Black. Time. Time. Yeah. End. Jacob. Fuck. Holy hell, I cannot wait to be done with this. Not where I thought that was going. Jacob, are you okay? Is anything broken? Ah, uh, shit. Okay, I can't access my radio or anything. Jacob, please, come on, man, get up. Show me something here. <sighs> Fine, I'll mess with your radio machine thing again. We're getting some clarity here. There we go. Uh, uh just, 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 just wait. Uh, the board gave way, didn't it? Uh. Jesus, how did you survive? You dropped at least a couple of stories. I'm uh, not entirely sure. Probably time weirdness. It didn't feel like that far of a fall. It's like I just taken a header off a chair or something. Are you okay? I mean, like, you look okay, but still checking. I'm not the one who just fell through the roof. Yeah, but you know, manners. <laughs> God, Miss Adler would be pretty pissed at me if she knew I'd broken into this church. She uh, always said not to wander around Garland and get a disease. Sorry. Let's, uh, let's get out of here. Can we just do that, please? <sighs> All right, let's head up, close that portal, and finish this. You know, you had some ghosts looking over your body like you were a feast. All right, they're like, ooh, this guy's dying. We could take over his body because it's almost gone. <laughs> um, you might not be 100% there, Jacob. You might be a little possessed. I don't know. <laughs> well, at least no one knocked this over. Whoop. So can't contact Evelyn or Olivia. All right, Alex, you did a shit job fucking convincing me to not set up these transmitters, so let's hope this isn't a trap for us. Whoa, jeez! Whoa! Hey, there's that green... flash, almost, right? Is... is that it? Uh... uh is it over? I mean, the sky looks... Cleared. It seems better, right? I think so. I think we did it. I think... I think we really did it. Finally. Man, Riley. We are just extraordinarily lucky this worked. If you hadn't been here at the exact right time, at this exact right spot, with these exact right transmitters, I don't know what would have happened. Yeah. 
Yeah. God, probably like four in the morning. Don't like the way you put that, Jacob. Uh, not in, like suspicion of, of you, but to ugh. like what to do about anything that's happened. But I don't know about you. I think we earned the rest of the night off. I mean, the storm lifted, right? We should go to the docks. See about getting you a hotel. I'd offer my own place, but I don't know. You saw it. Not exactly pristine. Honestly, Jacob, I just need a damn couch. Hey, you can use mine. I just have to... I, I should clean the uh, cover, though, first. I accidentally spilled gasoline on the uh, the uh, cushions and some citric acid from a project. Oh, my uh, God. Shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, okay, well, uh, I already got a hotel through the school, or uh, my employer. If the walkie works, the phone might. I can call a ride. Sounds good. The town's back this way. Let's get rambling. Yeah. Hold on. Evelyn? I planted the last transmitter, Evelyn. You on the horn? Riley, can you hear me? I'm in the car. I finally got my car started. I'm, I'm on the road. Sorry I can't pick you up. If I get too close to the coastline, the battery starts to drain again. Over. Oh, where are you going? Over. I left work and I'm heading to my partner's place. She's been home for a bit. Okay. Uh, my sister never called Riley. I still can't get in contact with her. I took your advice and told my mom the truth. I think it was the right thing to do. Good. But I'm just, I can't be at work anymore. Because it's just work. That's what it is. Work. And my family's my life. Even though tonight was really exciting for me. And you were a big part of that. Thanks for the readings, Riley. I mean it. This information will help so much if anything like this ever happens in the future. But right now, I just have to... I just want to be home and wait by the phone. If that makes sense. Over. Okay, Evelyn. I hope you hear from your sister soon. Over. Thanks. Okay, Riley. If you still need anything, feel free to call. I'll be on the line just in case. See you later, Jacob. Hope you find your doggy. Thanks, Evelyn. Take care. <laughs> and good luck. Over and out. Ah, <sighs> we got Jimmy. <laughs> we we did a good job. We checked in all three times. All right. Well, oh, okay. I was gonna say, do, do we descend down the rope or no? We we climb out the building again. Fun. Uh, you'll work it out, Jacob. There's no way it's over, right? Like, there's so much more. That like Alex and everybody else could do to mess with us. So yeah, I don't know about that. 